sky. It's Easter Sunday. And, uh, yeah, the wife is not happy. Ooh, I'm gonna have to really grab that with uh, two hands. Thought I could get it with, thought I could grab it with just one, but you know the king. The guy claims that it still works, so. Trash life anyway, or? Onward. I need to know, what the heck are these things? Is that a steel door? I guess it is. What the heck is this thing? It's pretty heavy, actually. I said the microwave works. <clears throat> I wonder how long it will. How long will it be working for? Nothing survives in my truck. An unbelievably beautiful day. Addiction is to the curbside. I should actually uh, not be out here doing this. As a kind of ignoring the family a little bit. If I keep doing that, ignoring them, uh, eventually they'll go away, right? Well, what did it weigh and what did it pay? From uh, this morning's scrap load. Oh, goodies. Only $38. Freezer deduction. Uh-oh. They're starting that crap again. The system's not responding. They're starting that crap again. 25 pounds deduction for refrigerators. <clears throat> Isn't that lovely? Well, lucky for me, I, I, I stoked it up with about seven bowling balls, so that should even score a bit. I don't know. Probably not. So, 25 pound deduction. We're back to that. That means, a, you know what that means? That means the price is going to go down some more when they get... When they get skittish about certain types of items, that means it's time to go to the other scrapyard. When, the, when you know, one when one yard gets kind of picky about things, see that's how I do it. You know, you round robin things. You start favoring the other yard. Use uh, use good old-fashioned American competition against each other. There's a uh, 
you know, me being a scrapper, I'm counting my pennies. Look at this bike. That's not bad shape, so I decided to save it. Like I need more stuff. Look at this guy. Aluminum Mac wheels. Rubble. It's a mongoose. I don't know. Might be several. I've never sold anything, but hey. It was sitting there right by the curb, but away from the garbage can, so I went up to the people's doorbell and I rang it and asked because little kids are known for, uh, you know, getting distracted or whatever, and they leave scooters and bikes and stuff right by the curb, or you get wise asses that leave lawnmowers and bicycles and stuff by the curb. And they wait for a scrapper to come by, only to holler at you for touching it. So, stuff that could, ordinar could ordinarily be by the curb, by its very nature, and not necessarily because it's garbage day, it's always suspect. Now, a washing machine, that doesn't belong by the curb. That's apparent that that's trash. What, a bike? Or a basketball hoop? Uh, Kind of in dicey territory there. Onward. Just a dishwasher. But yeah, this place is getting strict again. They go through those phases. Yeah, leave it in here for a little while and it'll be uh it'll be trash. Wondering is I can't just take it home. The, the neighbor will complain. Well, it's got the racks are still in there. I will replace those racks with garbage and trash. As a uh, my commenters from from the UK calls it swings and roundabouts with the good old scrapyard. That's what it's always been. So I got a call from one of my plumber buddies. He's got a water heater for me, so I don't know. Hey, you know what? Oh, there's Amazon trying to get around me. I got a lot of the Mexican scrappers. They take bikes like these. I mean, they won't buy them, but obviously they must flea market them or something. Even though all the fleas are they're closed. Closed until further notice. Yeah, this... This Rona thing, this has become an industry unto itself. Very frustrating. I'm just driving around, I just seen these two right here for sale. I don't really care for the Mazda. 1998 GMC. Thirty-five hundred dollars? For a truck this old? I mean, the headlights have cataracts, first of all. And, uh, look at this, guys. Look at that rusty frame that's been painted black. Or is that undercoating? put undercoating on there. Yeah, see where I rubbed it right there? I rubbed some of it off. Well-worn tires. I mean, there's some tread, but as you can see, it's got a problem with the, the ball joints. More worn on the edge there. The uh, 
repainted the rust black and in the rust out Hey there. And as you can see, the leaf spring has a wood a wood shim. <laughs> Concerned, that'll be a big no dog. Not at that price. I mean, the interior is not really worn out. Got a little, got a little tape action going on right there. But, uh, the ceiling's not falling down. Still, thirty-five hundred dollars. Uh, that's first of all, it's a short bed too. That's just giving you guys an idea of what kind of garbage, huh? What kind of garbage people are trying to pass off as legit. That right there, that's an $800 truck. If you ever want to see any more of my scrapping videos, just please remember to ring that bell.